Carrick launch. Well, let's see the performance of this particular install. Yeah. This was an attempt to make a three deck ship. So this is deck one. We're, we're upside down, so the Kerbals sit like that, and these are like control displays. It's supposed to be modeled after the Normandy. Uh, deck two and deck three. The way they go from one deck to another is um, there are these uh, lander cans. And there's a lander can at each level. It's like the elevator. So they just transfer from one lander can to another. Unfortunately, that only allows one to go into the elevator at a time, but... Okay, I've auto strad some things. How many parts? 1,288. Oh, it has an internal bay uh, in the tail for the rover. See, that's a bay and it opens up and the rover can come out. And, but we had to put... The, the trick to this, the painful thing, is that the engines are on the wings as they are on the Normandy, right? There, there are two little stability thrusters there, but um, that puts a whole lot of stress on the wing, right? Whole lot of stress on the wings. Ah, uh, these are emptied SRBs. This is a uh, EJ-ish technique for structural, you know, stability or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Das to oh, is das? Yeah. I just merge all the things from EJ and DOS into one big lump, I guess. Of stock wisdom. Oh, those need to be auto-strutted. Control from here. We probably want to go up. Well, heck. If we can auto-strut, let's auto-strut. Not heaviest part. Let's just go for root part there. Okay. Half a year ago, okay. Okay, throttle up. SAS on. Waiting for the music. It's a different sound. This is a three deck ship, Mr. Hex. A three deck ship. So inside there are actually three levels for Kerbals to walk around. Well, walk around is a strong term for what they do in space. Normandy. It's supposed to be to Normandy, but it doesn't really look like that. It is massive. It is very massive. Right now it's fine, but this booster is currently a structural part keeping it together. Once we separate that booster, the wings are gonna start flapping around. Stream is laggy? No, life is laggy. Our Kerbal life is laggy. Oh wait, the stream is laggy. No fair to stream being laggy at the same time we're trying to launch this thing. It's not the most Kerbal. The most Kerbal thing would have exploded on the launch pad. That sound, though, doesn't sound like a rocket engine. And destroyed the whole KSC, yes. And at the end, there should be little glitchy parts twitching constantly. I made this a long time ago. We're just testing it out in 1.4. Oh, 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 careful, careful. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going through the transonic region now. The booster is almost out of fuel. There's not the best time to separate off, though. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, let's try and separate the booster. Oh. 
I'm just gonna keep it pointed out this way for a while. I think it's safer that way. Not like our apple abscess is super high or anything. I'm not even I'm not I haven't touched the controls since we let go of the booster. Because I'm afraid that if I yank the controls these things are gonna go out of whack because we're still very much in the atmosphere. At least when you have this big wing you're very much in the atmosphere of this side. As far as engine performance is concerned, we're at the max specific impulse, even though we're only halfway to 70 kilometers. And yes, all stock. <laughs> of course. Of course, otherwise it'd look much more streamlined. I have a non-stock Normandy. If you guys ever want to watch that video, I guess I'll link it. I made the body of it to make sure it looked proper. Look at that wing flex. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to maneuver it now. I don't know if we're gonna make it to orbit. I'm sure the Delta V on this is tight. We do not have much by way of RCS on this thing either, I don't think. So I'm gonna try and roll here too. Or we have Werner thrusters, I'm not sure. I doubt I place them very well. Oh right, there are reaction wheels. Eh, whatever. No, I think I need to maneuver it a lot better if I want to make orbit with this. I'm not too sure, it just seems like... Well, I mean, here it is a lot of... Seems like there's a lot of fuel. Still have a tenth of our fuel left. Oh, I did not want to do that. Is some of the fuel that we've got here not feeding into the engines? Not sure. Oh, they're wiggling. You can see there's a wobble in the engines now. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? Maybe we should just hold off on that. Please tell me there is a reaction wheel some here, somewhere here. I mean, I'm not one to use a whole lot of reaction wheels after all. Uh, I think, well, there's one on those there, I see, but I don't know if, oh, right there, but that's not a very big reaction wheel. Is there more somewhere? I probably, there's only that one reaction wheel as far as I know. Maybe in the cockpit, but then there's this one. Okay, look, we've, we've got fuel here. Where is this fuel? We've got too many fuel times. Just hovering over this brings up some... Oh! Okay, maybe I can hunt for it some other way. Well, obviously those will be connected. Something is not connected here. I can't see... There's so many of these, I can't see where this other arrow is going. Okay, that's... Uh... This one! Okay. Um... You, pin. But that's not the only one. We've got more oxidizer and all. Okay, why... Maybe this amount of fuel is going to be enough to light some engines if I pump it into the right place. But, that brings up a different question. Where do I pump it into? Okay, out. Out. Okay, we, we will skip that. That is a heck of a sound, too. 1.4 is doing pretty well. I mean, we the game hasn't crashed, <laughs> you know. Baseline requirements. We made a space shuttle. Space shuttle didn't land quite in one piece, but it was okay. It was okay. It works. And we just opened this from a previous version, and it's almost in orbit. First try, too. Which configs? I put the stock visual enhancements configurations in from 1.3. I don't know if they're working or not. It doesn't look like stock visual enhancements, but then again, I'm used to seeing stock visual enhancements with scatterers, so I'm not sure. We don't have a periapsis yet. 
Oh, let's do that thing. Okay, stop. Stop farting. I don't think we're going to get to orbit with just this fuel here. We're close. But I need to find where the heck the rest of this fuel... Oh! No, that's electric charge. S still, it's... I hate that sound. I hate that sound. Still, it's very nice that it actually made it all this way on the first attempt. You guys just want to see what happens when it enters the atmosphere anyway, right? We're gonna try and re-enter just like this. We don't have much by way of a reaction wheel. We don't have RCS ports to speak of as far as I could tell. Yeah, of course, this was built before auto strutting was a thing, so there are a lot of struts on it. It's got struts all over the place. This thing is still intact. <laughs> sort of amazed. There, it doesn't have any control surfaces though, right? This is all wing pieces. I don't think there's a con is there? Oh no, there is. I didn't even realize I put control surfaces. There's a chance. Do you have to attach floating devices to return probes in 1.4? Hmm, I don't know. I haven't tried. I haven't splashed down yet in 1.4. I can't believe it's still working. I can't believe it's still keeping its orient- and it is maxing out the pitch here though. But still, you know, keeping its nose up sort of. You have wings, you can do it! Actually, I think it really, really wants to roll on its back. It's not like it has landing gear or anything. There's gonna be an explosion one way or another. Um, that I didn't- Now we're flattening out, but we've got this huge hillside. I don't know if you can see it properly, it might be too dark for you guys. Um, can we like not hit this terrain? Jeez, there's not like a whole lot of good options here. It definitely likes being upside down. We are also totally gonna stall and have a flat spin or whatever. Good news, it's slowing down. Bad news, still pretty fast. Music gets more tense. No, Chevadaya. Thousand parts. Think of the computations. Now, if Jeb survives this, he'll totally validate the design, right? Hey, everybody in the upper deck would have been fine, right? Not really, actually. I think the, this is the second floor. This is the second floor. The upper deck was... where? Where is the... I think the upper deck is gone. Second floor is good. Second floor is safe. EVA, please. Well, any landing you can walk away from. There we are. It works. 